Oh, okay, friends. So today we're going to talk about some helpful words that we can use instead of hurtful words at times, okay? So before we do our activity, I'm going to read you a short little story, and it's a really good story. This is called, Words Are Not For Hurting. Did you know that it takes only 26 to letters to make millions of words? Some words are super short, like hi, bye, yes, no. Don't forget dog. Some words are really long, like thingamajig, Mississippi, abracadabra, and some words are just plain silly, like wiggly, jig, wiggly giggly, cockadoodle-doo. Words help you say lots of important things, like I love you, thank you for helping me, and you are welcome. Sometimes words are loud, and sometimes words are soft. Ready or not, here I come. Sometimes your words are funny, like knock knock, who's there. Even you, sometimes you can even sing them, like la 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 la. Your words belong to you, and you choose what you say and how you say it. Your words can hurt, or your words can help. These are helpful words. Let's work together. Do you want to share this with me? I'm glad we're friends. We can take turns. And some words are hurtful. You can't play with us. You're stupid. Get out of here. Your clothes are ugly. Words are not for hurting. When you hear hurtful words, how do you feel? Maybe mad, sad, scared? left out, mixed up, confused? And when you say hurtful words, how do you feel? Maybe you feel sorry and wish that you wouldn't have said them. There's something you can do when this happens to you. You can take them back like this. Say things like, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Here are two words that you can say when you do something wrong. I'm sorry. Those two big little words can be a big help. When you hear hurtful words, what can you do? You can say, words are not for hurting. Please don't say those things. Wait, up your butt. Or you can tell a grown up. He's teasing me, can you help? Your words are important. If you think before you speak, you can use the your words well. It takes only 23 letters to make millions of words. That's a lot. You can tell this to yourself and to others, that words are not for hurting, they are for helping. Oh, look at that little baby. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so before we do our bead and string activity, let's, work out, let's talk about some words that we can use when we are ever in this situation. It's kind of a pickle. Yes, hey, what's a word that we could use that would be helpful? Yeah, you could say, can I help you if they fall down? That's a good one. I'm going to write that down. That's a question. Can I help you? That's really nice. That's very helpful, isn't it? Um, Rowan, do you know a good, a good word or a good sentence that is helpful? It's a question. Yeah, that is a question. So far we have please, I love you, friend, laugh, mom, dad, thank you, you're welcome, can I help you? Can you think of any other words that help and don't hurt? Um, can I play with you? <gasps> That's a really good one. That's another question. So I'm going to put a question mark at the end. Can I play with you? All right, does anybody have any other ones? Evan, do you have one? Will? No, I don't know. Okay, that's all right. So I have a list of words and sentences that we can use that are helpful. And today, we are going to put these sentences to work. I'm going to give you each a long string, and you are going to you are going to create that word. And I can help you if you get if you get stuck. Here's our pot of words, okay, or our pot of letters that will make some words. So let's have Rowan. Rowan, how about do you want to do I love you? And it's okay if you can't find some of these words. Maybe we could just do or some of these letters. We could just do love. 
because that's a helpful word. So find all the lettuce in the pot that you need to find all the lettuce in that pot. And then you hate, hey, let's have yeah, of course you may. Yep. If you can find all those letters, of course. Um, and then let's do the word please. Let's have you do the word please. And Waylon, let's have you do the word please. Okay. All right, Evan. Friend, we need F R. Can you find an F? And then can you find an R? No, we're just gonna play with these here at this school. F R. Why do you guys think? Why do you guys think it's important? In a, they don't have in a bar, hard, right? Let's see. In a hard situation, to say a helpful word instead of a is hurtful there word. An there is. Here Thank we go. You for the Thank you. Nothing else. And let's see. Here's an end. Rowan, what word are you trying to spell? And if you guys want, you can just put on, you can just spell your name or you can spell anything you'd like. I'm spelling that. Okay, you can spell your name because those are all helpful words. E, E, I bet there's an E. I'm spelling that. I see an E and it is blue. I see another E that is orange. 